True shit. But next time we come on stage, one of my good friends of comedy in real life, start clapping right now for Mr. Christian Balmer. Adam, you got here just on time, Adam. You got here right on time. So happy you're, you're joining us. I don't know what to do now. I think I have to just talk. I knew you were like a sex pest, Brandon, but I didn't know you were like a fucking menace. I didn't know you were just like all day, every day. You said in her office? In her office. Oh my God, how do, you, how do you get away with that? I'm asking for a friend, how do you get away with that? Everyone was... <laughs> okay. But see, that's what the gay guy thought in the, in the Senate. He thought everyone left. But then they were, you weren't recording it, were you? <laughs> you weren't, because you're recording this is the problem. You're recording this, and just like the other story that you, <laughs> it's supposed to be a secret, um, <laughs> you don't want footage. You certainly don't want an admission of guilt of any kind. No. I don't know what to do. I shouldn't have posted this either. You made the right call, because this would have been tragic if I was up here with my tone of voice. I did write some new jokes today. I don't think they'll work. Woo, cool. Um, I, uh, do, do we wake up to an alarm in here? Everyone has an alarm clock? Is it your phone? You use your phone? OK, cool. Yeah, I use my phone, too, and I, I have, um, for the longest time, I had like the most obnoxious alarm because that's what would wake me up. But, like the harshest, like "fuck you, get up" alarm on my phone. Uh, but I, I grew immune to it. Has that happened to you? After a while, like you just you tell no, fuck you. I'm putting I'm snooze immediately, right? So I figured I had to change it up. I had to find a new sound to you know jolt me out of sleep because it was kind of like part of my sleep routine is I would hear my alarm and I would turn it off and I'd be two hours late to my job every day. And that was, that's, I don't think that works, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I changed it and I picked something like a little less harsh, right? But it's still like, it gets under my skin enough to, okay, fine, get up. And I don't know, I was making a new alarm because I have to wake up even earlier tomorrow and I realized that the alarm sound I picked, I didn't realize the name of it. My last alarm was called alarm, the sound. And the sound I picked for my new alarm is called tease. It's called tease. So in effect, my alarm is basically saying, you know, you won't get up, bitch. <laughs> no balls. <laughs> I fucking dare you, piece of shit. Yeah, go ahead. You need the sleep, big boy. Rest up. It works, though. I do need a screen protector because I broke my phone. I smashed it on the sidewalk. Cool. Does anyone procrastinate? In here we have pro procrastinators. That's a hard word to say, procrastinate. We got to find a new one. That's hard. That's hard for me. Just unrelated. Yes, cool. Yeah, I do too. It's awful. And so everything, like you, you, you name something, I'll tell you how to not do it right now in like five seconds or less, I'll tell you how. Uh, explosive having explosive diarrhea, eat right, done, <laughs> boom, I'm over with. I did have that today though, I did, I did that incorrectly. He said explosive diarrhea for the listener. I don't know what it is. I don't know, everything, and it's only things that help me that I put off. It's only things that are like good for me, like you know, eating right, i.e. the toilet situation, working out. Um, it's, never, it's never anything that can like, actually help me. That, like, I wish I could just put off going to McDonald's once, one time. <laughs> like, we can clog my arteries tomorrow. We can, we can get right on that. The next day, it's too far. It's never too far for me. I, make, I go out of my way to kill myself every day. I told you I should not have hosted this because this, this would just get darker. 
it would get to, even in a vacuum, even if you hadn't have done what you did for 20 minutes, <laughs> it would have still been, it was still in dark as shit. Darker than a cipher in a pitch black parking lot. It would have been so dark. It would have been so dark. I don't know. What's like the craziest thing you do in your car alone? I know you get up to some shit. Brandon's fucking 12 bitches in his car alone. <laughs> On the highway, full speed. He's speeding in the right lane, <laughs> crossing through traffic. <laughs> no blinkers and he's got 12, he's got, <laughs> he's got one bitch for every inch of his cock. He's got, because <laughs> we all know how big your dick is, Brandon. You tell us about it all that. I'm not looking at Brandon either, which makes this even better. <laughs> No, seriously, what's like the weirdest, craziest thing? You've jerked off? In traffic? Uh, on the highway at night. On the highway at night, okay. <laughs> Few at night, good. So it was acceptable, cool. <laughs> what about you, Marcus? Go ahead, take my picture. What craziest thing you do in your car alone? Doesn't have to be at night. It, that was not the qualifier at night. It's good to know. I won't be riding in your car anytime soon, but. You listen to music and you drive? Okay, yeah. Yeah, because that's me too. Like, and I'll be like on the highway listening to music. I'll look like a totally normal driver and then just out of nowhere I'll go, ah! <laughs> Y'all don't do that? Y'all don't just scream for no reason <laughs> when you're driving? I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got to turn these speakers down, Nelson, something, because... Yeah, cool. <laughs> But that is alarming, right? To like be <laughs> next to someone who does that. I'll I'll just break out laughing for no reason too. I'll just be like, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> thank you, Nelson. Thank you. You're controlling volume, so you just like being deaf. That's what this is. Okay, I'm I'm here. I'm here for it. Oh, got you. Cool. Understood. Well, I know that joke won't work if the sound system is too loud. It's not even a joke. I think it's just a jump scare. But that's just what I do in my car. Is that weird? I guess it's a question. This is a TED Talk or group meet. Okay, cool. Um, I like using the force. <laughs> okay. Has anyone else used the force? When I write new jokes, I try to outsource it to the audience so we can get a call and response going to see if it works. What did you say, Adam? In your dreams? In your dream? Like, I do it in real life, though. Like, I just walk around. Like, y'all, you ever cross the street and, like, a car is supposed to stop at the cross, but you do this anyway to be like, hey, and you look at them, you make eye contact. I do that all the time at, like, every fucking opportunity. Like, somebody's like, just walking up to me too quickly, and I go, and it works. It works. Yeah, but like white women, they ruin everything. They use the force for evil. They do. White women are the fucking Sith. <laughs> they are. <laughs> yeah, because like I, I always see this. They, they're always driving, and <laughs> no blinker, nothing. They stick their hand out of the driver's side window to indicate that they're turning, and that no one should cut them off or be near them. Have you seen it? And they go like this, <laughs> just to let everyone know that this is their road. Exactly. I'm not crazy. When we see in the Karen videos where they like dress people down and they go, you, know, you? <laughs> I need to talk to you. <laughs> clapping. Yeah, that's more, that's like force lightning, clapping. <laughs> On some Ventress Count Dooku shit. You talked about X-Men 90, whatever the, I don't want to hear about it. I can do Star Wars. There's nothing on here. Um, to the 10 people that RSVP'd, this is, um, this is for you. Uh, take Heath, uh, fuck this. <laughs> I'm out of here, fuck this. Christian Bomber, guys, let him hear it, let him hear it. Oh, gosh. 
You know, it's funny. Glenn texted me. He's like, yo, man, I'm about to meet in a few. And that's what I said to him. I was like, yo, take you fuck these niggas up. <laughs> like, that was it. And Glenn's like, what? <laughs> oh, gosh. That brings so much joy to my heart. Mm.